Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a homemade Diophantine equation. So we have 1 over x minus y minus 1 over x plus y minus 2 equals 1, and x and y are integers. Now, the idea for this problem came to me a long time ago, and I just modified a little bit. Anyways, so there are some certain restrictions here. First of all, x minus y cannot be 0, so x and y have to be different. And x plus y cannot be 2. Right, so those are the conditions we need to have. Other than that, we're good. Let's go ahead and proceed. I'll be presenting two solutions. Let's go ahead and start with the first method. For my first method, obviously, I'm going to make a common denominator. Right? Let's go ahead and uh, crisscross these. x plus y minus 2 multiply by the top and then x minus y multiply by 1 and then the common denominator is just going to be the product and it's equal to 1. Now let's go ahead and simplify the numerator. x minus x is equal to 0 so they're going to cancel out and then we get y minus negative y which is 2y and then we can go ahead at this point and cross multiply and this is going to give us x minus y times x plus y minus 2. Because it's multiplied by 1, it's just going to be the same thing. Make sense? Now, the right-hand side is looks more complicated, so let's go ahead and put that on the left-hand side while distributing it. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply this by that as a quantity. Remember, that's the difference of two squares. And then I'm going to multiply the x minus y by negative 2. Let's write it this way first. And then, we're done. That's all you have to do, right? Now let's go ahead and simplify this. This, of course, is going to equal 2y minus 2, so I switch sides here. And now, if you simplify this, you're going to get x squared minus y squared minus 2x plus 2y is equal to 2y minus 2. And obviously, 2y is going to cancel out, and we end up with something like this. Now, how do you simplify something like that? Notice that we have x squared, 2x, and 2, and we have y squared. So y is a different variable, and we kind of want to do this uh, to get a difference of two squares. That's going to be our goal here. It will be a good thing, obviously, to have. It doesn't always work, but in this case, it does. So let's go ahead and put everything on one side, be everything besides y squared. So I'm going to subtract the negative 2, or just add 2 to both sides, and I put the y squared on the right hand side. At this point this may not look like a difference of two squares but if you go ahead and work on the left hand side this is the same thing as x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus 1 and notice that this part is a perfect square so I can write it as x minus 1 squared and now this becomes what? Difference of two squares. Let's separate x minus 1 squared from y squared and that's going to equal 1. That's our difference of two squares. And now let's write it as y plus x minus 1 times y minus x plus 1. We have to negate the negative 1 inside the parentheses. Now getting 1 is actually really good because you can only get 1 in two ways if you're considering integers. Because x and y are integers, x plus y and y minus x are also integers. So we can use 1 times 1 and negative 1 times negative 1. Let's go ahead and take a look at each case. So this can be 1, 1 or negative 1, negative 1. First case, y plus x minus 1 is equal to 1 and y minus x plus 1 is equal to 1. This implies that y plus x is equal to 2 and the second one implies y minus x equals 0. Now from here, we can go ahead and take these two equations, add them x cancels out, we get 2y equals 2, and y equals 1. Since their sum is 2, or their difference is 0, this means x is also 1. But remember, this is problematic because we said earlier that y and x cannot be the same, because that would make our expression undefined. Therefore, we have to reject this solution set. So we have to go with the other one. And the other solution is basically negative 1 and negative 1, so it's going to look like this. y plus x minus 1 is equal to negative 1, and y minus x plus 1 is equal to negative 1. 
Let's go ahead and simplify these two expressions. We're going to get y plus x is equal to 0 and y minus x is equal to negative 2. Now let's go ahead and add these two equations to eliminate x. That's going to give us 2y equals negative 2, which implies y equals negative 1. Since y plus x is 0, they're opposites. And because y is negative 1, this implies that x is positive 1. So this solution set will actually work, and you can check it out real well. So 1 comma negative 1 happens to be the only solution to this equation, which is called a Diophantin equation because we're solving for integers. Now let's go ahead and rewrite the problem and check our work. 1 over x minus y minus 1 over x plus y minus 2 equals. Now suppose we don't know what it, this equals, but let's go ahead and test these values. If x is 1 and y is negative 1, their difference is going to be 2 minus their sum is going to be 0, so we're going to get a negative 2 from here, and that's going to be the same thing as 1 half plus 1 half, which is equal to 1. Now, the second method actually kind of depends on where we left off here, so let's go ahead and take a look. I think this will be a good transition. Now, first of all, when you have a problem like this, you should always be thinking, is there an easier way to do it? Or is there an other way to do it besides just brute force, like make a common denominator, cross multiply, so on and so forth. Looking at all the cases. This is usually brute forcey. But we're looking for a shortcut, an easier way to approach this. And here's how it works. Remember what we ended up with? 1 half plus 1 half is equal to 1. Exactly that's what we need. So notice that we don't have a plus sign, so that's a minus sign. But guess what? That could be easily fixed by negating the denominator, which is going to give us negative x minus y plus 2. Of course, you can write it differently. Notice that by adding two fractions, are these called Egyptian fractions or unit fractions? You can only get one by adding one half and one half. Think about other scenarios, one half and one third, one over six and one over seven. It's never going to give you. You have to use one half and one half. So in order for our equation to work, this has to be a two and this has to be a two which implies the solution pretty quickly. So from here we get x minus y equals 2, and negative x minus y is equal to 0. Obviously, uh, the sum is 2, but we subtracted 2 from both sides. And now you can go ahead and eliminate x or y here. x is going to eliminate. We're going to get negative 2y is equal to positive 2, which implies y is equal to negative 1. And of course, since x minus y is equal to 2, or, by the way, this implies that x plus y is equal to 0 because if you multiply both sides by negative 1, you're going to get x plus y equals 0. And again, x and y have to be opposites, so this implies that x equals 1. Therefore, the only solution, ordered pair, is going to be 1 comma negative 1 for this equation. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Is there another way to solve it? What do you think about this problem? Please let me know. Anyways, this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.